hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use multiple classes in your java program now from the previous few tutorials we have using a single class which is called as the my class and we have written a main method inside the class and we are pretty much using the same main method in order to execute our code but in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use multiple classes in your java program so you might be thinking that what is the need of using multiple classes in java program so the thing is that whenever you're developing big applications, so let's say you're working for a company and you're developing a Java application, then it is always better to have multiple classes for each function. So as far as the small program goes, you could accommodate everything in a single class. But whenever we are talking about huge programs, then it is always beneficial so as to have multiple classes in your Java program. So let's go ahead and learn how to add a new class and how to use it. So the first thing which we need to do in order to create a new class is that we go to the source folder right here. We right click on it, go to new and select a Java class. Now let's name this as my new class, then click OK. And as you could see, now a new class has been created. And also make sure that you delete this stuff that is because we don't need it as you could see in our source folder we have two classes the first class is this class which we already have and the second class is going to be this class which is called as the my new class now let's go ahead and add a new method to this class so whenever we are going to write in a method we are going to type in public and what public means is that this class is accessible to all the classes then we type void and what void means is that this method is not going to return anything or upon execution. Now after typing in void, the next thing which we mention is going to be the method name. So the method name for this is let's say, so let's say this method is going to display a message. So the method name would be display message. So once we have the method name, we give parentheses and then opening and a closing curly bracket to include the code inside the method. Now let's go ahead and write in some simple code in this method. So as this method is going to display a message, we are going to type in system dot out dot println and let's display a message as message from my new class. So as you could see, we have added a single line of code into this new method right here. So now once we have everything set up inside this class, the next thing which we do is that we actually use this class which is called as the my new class inside the previous class which is called as my class now whenever you want to use this class in the new class what you do is that you initially need to create an object of this class so in order to create an object of any class first thing which we do is that we type in the class name so for example the class name of the second class is my new class so we type my new class so after having the class name, the next thing which we do is that we have the name for the object of the second class. So let's say we name this as my new class object. And this is nothing but the object of this class right here. So once we have the object created, we type this equals new. And again, we type in the class name. So that is my new class. So as you could see, this line of code right here is nothing but object creation and why we have created the object is because whenever we want to access the method inside this class we are going to create the object of this class and in order to create object of any class first we type the class name which is this my new class then we type in the object name and we could name the object as anything but for the sake of understanding i have named it as my new class object and what this means is that this is the object of this class then we type this equals again we type the class name give a parenthesis and give a semicolon so this line of code right here is called as object initialization or object creation now once the object is created you could use this object to use this method right here so in order to do so we switch to the first class we use the object which we have just created so we type my new class object and in order to access this method which is display message method we give a dot operator and then type display message so in this line of code right here what we have done is that we have used this newly created object and inside this object or inside this class we have a method which is called as display message 
So in order to call this method, we have used a dot operator and then just typed in the method name. So now if we save the code and if we run it, as you could see, it is displaying the message as message from my new class. Now this statement is not printed anywhere inside the main class, but the thing is that this object initialization and the method call is basically going to call this method, which is present in the second class inside our first class. And that's why when we run our first class, it is going to display the message which is written inside the second class. So that's basically how you use multiple classes in Java and that's how you call a method from one class to the method in the another class. So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you guys understood how to use multiple classes in Java. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.